everyone. Several months ago, I shared Amy Harris's birth with her second baby. It's a home birth, her video. Um, so definitely check that out. Go see if you can find that one. But this is her home birth video with her third baby, and it is amazing. She accidentally has an unassisted birth, so it's absolutely incredible. And guys, Amy Harris has some awesome tips on her page. She right now is in a postpartum phase with her, her third baby, and she has so, so many wonderful tips. You definitely need to check out the links below to find her web page as um, her YouTube page as well, her YouTube channel, because it is so helpful and so beneficial and she's so smart with so many of these things. Also in the description below, you'll find the link to my natural birth education course and my helpful products guide. So check out both of those as well if you wanna have an amazing empowered birth like Amy does, but definitely take the time to watch this whole video. I hope you enjoy every second of it and are really blessed by it. Thanks for watching guys. Now, 
Now. It's out. It's out. It's a girl. The nervousness of the phone. <laughs> I could tell that it was happening fast. I think anybody would have been nervous. Y'all, I am still on like a birth high and awe and shock and complete disbelief at how that birth played out. But I'm just so thankful for that birth and what it taught me, what it helped me realize just to fully trust my body. I knew all along my body could do this. I just always feel a little more comfort knowing that the midwife is there. But again, he taught me that that things work out how he plans and that's how he planned for our baby to come into this world into Tyler's arms and it was just the most beautiful birth taught me so much all of my births have taught me so much if you are new here I have three children now my first one was a hospital birth very long very traumatic I have videos of that talking more about it my second birth with my daughter was a home birth beautiful very similar to this birth very fast paced um, kind of a lull during the early phase of labor and then picked up very fast at that birth, my midwife is here for about 20 minutes. And as you just saw, at this birth, my midwife had come and gone and then baby came about an hour later. So again, very fast paced. I don't think a water birth is gonna be in the cards for me as fast as my labor progresses. We've got to get the timing down if we do have another child of when to fill up the pool and me to get in the pool. That would have ideally been when I went to get in the tub in this birth, but I had no idea I had pro was progressing that fast, especially after getting that devastating news of hearing that I was only two centimeters when the midwife came um, and then went back home. So I hope you enjoyed seeing our birth story. Check out my last two birth stories if you're interested and seeing more and learning more about those. If you are watching this and you are currently pregnant, will be giving birth soon, or you plan to become pregnant at any time, or you just eventually want children one day, I'm so excited for you. The journey of pregnancy into motherhood is such a beautiful one. No matter how many times you've taken that journey, there's always something new and exciting to learn each 
phase of motherhood that you enter, first child, second child, third, fourth, fifth, sixth child, however many it may be. I'm so excited for you and just thrilled that you're in this season of life. It is such a beautiful one to be truly cherished. So I'm so passionate about sharing about birth, pregnancy, options you have in this season to be informed and know that birth can be gentle and beautiful and just a beautiful time, a beautiful season. You don't have to have all the aches and the pains and the fears, and there's nothing truly to be feared in birth. Our bodies know exactly what to do. They will deliver our baby. There's really not much we have to do except be prepared and have that mindset to bring our baby into this world. And I talk a lot about this on this channel in videos and options you have and preparing for birth and getting your body prepared physically as well as mentally. So I have tons of videos on that. So I'll link some of those down below for you guys. Just delve into some of my playlists if you're interested in more. But this is just such a beautiful time and I'm so excited for you. So God truly met us in this birth as I knew he would because he always does in every season of life and every birth I've ever had. And many people have told us that they're so glad we didn't have complications since our midwife wasn't here. And yes, we are so thankful for that as well. But what most people don't realize is that when you are when you don't medicalize birth those complications are much less likely to arise so many of the complications that do arise in birth are actually due to another intervention put in place by the hospital so for example if you're put on pitocin that doesn't give your body time to recover and your baby time to recover between contractions whereas natural contractions do so a lot of times that puts baby in stress which will lower heart rate which will cause more interventions to come in place more complications to arise so it's kind of just that cascade of effects so same thing with epidurals those oftentimes lower baby's heart rate which can sometimes cause a forced in c-section so there are medical reasons for birth but many times there is no medical reason for that intervention that hospitals put into place and that is why a lot of times complications can arise. So yes, we are so, so thankful we didn't have any complications in this birth, but there was really no reason to fear those complications. And that's just what I talk about so much on this channel is not fearing birth, not fearing it, making it a medicalized event and totally trusting your body and ultimately trusting your God to have everything in control. And my midwife went back and told us that there has never been a birth that she was not at, that she was headed to and didn't make it to where the baby didn't cry within 10 to 20 30 seconds and it's just such a relief every time she gets that phone call she said she immediately sends up a prayer and asks god to protect that baby help that baby have them cry pretty quickly because if, when she hears that cry she knows everything is okay so that right there just shows you how powerful our god is in every situation if we put it in his hands so i hope you enjoyed seeing our birth story of our beautiful daughter it was such an honor and a joy for me to share it with you guys I hope you will check out some more of my birth videos, pregnancy videos, pregnancy options, and I will be bringing y'all into this postpartum season, transitioning from two kids to now three, ages three and under. So I hope you will subscribe and stick around for more. Thank y'all so much for watching this beautiful story, this beautiful God-filled story of the birth of our beautiful daughter, Eliza, and I will see y'all in a future video. I know all the sleeping won't last much longer, but I'm enjoying every second of it while it does. Thank you.